O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O Lord, the path of suffering trod, and since his blood for man has flowed, it is meet that man should yield to God. The life he owes, Alleluia. No shame to own the crucified. Nay, tis our immortality that we confess our God who died and for him die, Alleluia. Beholding his predestined crown, into their psalms a martyr goes. Dying he conquers death o'erthrown. O'erthrows his foes, Alleluia. Lord, make us your own soldiers true. Grant us brave faith, a spirit pure. That for your name your cross in view. We may endure, Alleluia. When can I enter and see the face of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning. For you, my God, my soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day. As I hear it said all day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember As I pour my soul How I would lead the rejoicing crowd Into the house of God Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving the throng mulled with joy. Why you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Up in God I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar, deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why you cast down my soul? 
why groan within me? Up in God I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. When can I enter and see the face of God? Show us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Save us, God of all things. Strike all the nations with terror. Raise your hand against foreign nations, that they may see the greatness of your might. Our sufferings proved your holiness to them. Let their downfall prove your glory to us. Let them know, as we ourselves know, that there is no other God but you. Give us signs again, work further wonders, clothe your hand, your right arm in glory. Assemble all the tribes of Jacob, as when they first received their inheritance. Pity the poor people called by your name. Pity Israel, chosen as your firstborn. Have compassion on the holy city, Jerusalem, the place of your rest. Let Zion ring with your praises. Let your temple be filled with your glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault of heaven. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The firm shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet their span extends through all the earth. Their words, the utmost bounds of the world. There is placed a tent for the sun. He comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Give praise to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and for ages unending. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault of heaven. Let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God from whom all help comes. He helps us in all our troubles so that we are able to help those who have all kinds of troubles, using the same help that we ourselves have received from God. Just as we have a share in Christ's many sufferings, so also through Christ we share in his great help. The Lord is my strength. I will sing praise to him. The Lord is my strength. I will sing praise to him. He is my salvation. The Lord is my strength. I will sing praise to him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength, I will sing praise to him. Blessed is the virgin who denied herself 
and took up her cross. She has imitated the Lord. He is the spouse of virgins, the prince of martyrs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men those who were his prophets from of old. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us our tree from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people a salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God He visits us like the dawn from on high He will give light to those in darkness Those who dwell in the shadow of death And guide us into the way of peace Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Blessed is the Virgin who denied herself and took up her cross. She has imitated the Lord. He is the spouse of virgins, the prince of martyrs. Through the martyrs who were slain for God's word, let us give glory to our Saviour, the faithful and true witness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who bore witness to your love, set us free to live for you. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs, who proclaimed your saving death, give us a deep and constant faith. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs, you took up your cross, grant us courage for every trial. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs, washed in the blood of the Lamb, give us grace to conquer our weakness. You redeemed us by your precious blood at the Saviour's command and for my divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those 
who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of power and mercy, you gave St. Catherine of Alexandria your martyr, victory over pain and suffering. Strengthen us who celebrate this day of her triumph and help us to be victorious over the evils that threaten us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.